Welcome to the Def Cam. The Tamora represents a significant advancement within Pakistan's indigenous cruise missile capabilities, developed meticulously by the state-owned Global Industrial and Defense Solutions Entity. Functioning as a conventional, non-nuclear counterpart to the nuclear-capable ROD-2 air-launched cruise missile, the Tamor is engineered explicitly to adhere to the provisions of the missile technology control regime, hence its maximum operational range is established at approximately 290 kilometers. This deliberate limitation underscores Pakistan's commitment to international non-proliferation norms while simultaneously enhancing its conventional deterrence posture. Technically, the Tamor integrates sophisticated low-observable features into its airframe design. This deliberate shaping, combined with the application of radar-absorbent materials, significantly reduces its radar cross-section, rendering detection by hostile air defense radars substantially more difficult. Propulsion is provided by a compact, efficient micro-turbojet engine. This engine utilizes an air intake positioned on the missile's underside, optimized for ingesting airflow during high-speed, low-altitude flight profiles. This configuration is critical for enabling the Tamur's primary operational flight mode, sustained terrain hugging over land or sea skimming over water. Flying mere meters above the ground or ocean surface allows the missile to exploit terrain masking and the radar clutter found near the horizon, effectively hiding its approach within the ground or sea return on enemy radar scopes thereby complicating interception efforts. Navigation and terminal guidance constitute a layered, robust system designed for resilience and precision. During the initial and mid-course phases, the missile relies on an inertial navigation system for autonomous position and attitude determination, supplemented by inputs from global navigation satellite systems, including the Global Positioning System, for enhanced accuracy. Crucially, the Tamur incorporates terrain contour matching technology. This system continuously compares the topography beneath the missile against a pre-programmed digital elevation map stored in its onboard computer, allowing it to correct its flight path autonomously without external references. Further augmenting this is digital scene matching area correlation, which utilizes optical sensors to compare the actual ground scene below with stored reference images providing another layer of position verification and correction. For the terminal attack phase, ensuring high accuracy against the designated target is paramount, especially under challenging electronic warfare conditions. The Tamur employs an imaging infrared seeker. This sophisticated sensor generates a detailed thermal image of the target area during the final approach. This image is then autonomously matched against a preloaded target template within the missile's guidance computer. The key advantage of this imaging infrared terminal homing is its complete independence from external signals like global positioning system or radar emissions. It functions effectively even in environments saturated by global positioning system jamming or where satellite signals are denied, relying solely on the target's thermal signature and the stored reference image to achieve a precise strike. Operational deployment is centered on integration with the Pakistan Air Force's cornerstone multi-role fighter, the JF-17 Thunder aircraft. This integration leverages the JF-17's growing fleet strength and operational flexibility. The Tamur is equipped with a potent blast fragmentation warhead, optimized for destroying high-value point targets such as command bunkers, radar installations, communication hubs, parked aircraft, fuel depots, and critical infrastructure. Against naval targets, its sea-skimming capability and precision terminal guidance make it a credible threat to surface vessels. The strategic and operational benefits offered by the Tamur are substantial. Its ability to traverse vast distances while flying at extremely low altitudes, combined with its inherent stealth characteristics, provides a potent means of penetrating sophisticated, layered enemy air defense networks undetected. The layered guidance architecture culminating in the Imaging Infrared Seeker, guarantees a high probability of target acquisition and destruction even in contested electromagnetic environments where satellite navigation is actively jammed. Integration with the JF-17 platform offers significant advantages, the fighter's relatively low procurement and operating costs. Coupled with the Tamor missile's own design efficiency, create a highly cost-effective long-range strike package. 
The combination of substantial standoff range, low altitude survivability, and precision lethality significantly amplifies the Pakistan Air Force's conventional deep strike capabilities. This enables the effective prosecution of diverse missions, ranging from strategic interdiction deep within adversary territory to anti ship operations or the destruction of critical fixed installations near the border. Consequently, the Taimur emerges not merely as a new weapon system, but as a transformative element within Pakistan's conventional aerial deterrence architecture. It provides a credible, survivable, and precise conventional strike option capable of holding a wide spectrum of high-value targets at risk. This capability serves as a sophisticated counterbalance within the region, enhancing Pakistan's ability to deter aggression and respond decisively to conventional threats with a modern, indigenously produced system, thereby reinforcing national security and strategic stability through technological self-reliance. Its deployment signifies a maturation of Pakistan's defense industrial capabilities, delivering a weapon system tailored to the specific operational challenges and strategic imperatives faced by the nation. Thanks, and stay tuned for the upcoming videos.